So in game theory, there's two types of games. One is Prison's Dilemma and one is Game of Chicken. They have very similar formats and you are both given two choices. You're given two strategies and you you have your best outcome if you choose to betray the other person, if you choose to defect and the other person choose to cooperate so they do not betray you. And just briefly explaining what Prisoner's Dilemma is. Prisoner's Dilemma is a game that supposedly you and your partner committed a crime and you're both arrested and interrogated differently and separately. And you have two options. You can confess to the crime or you don't confess. So confess in this case would be defect, so betraying the other person, and cooperate means that you don't confess. Imagine player 1. So this is the strategy for player 1. Player 1 can choose to defect. And if both player 1 and player 2 choose to defect, then they both serve one year in prison. If they serve, they have a utility of minus 1, minus 1. If player 1 choose to not confess, they cooperated and player 2 defected. Then player two walk free, they got a utility of four, and then player one serve two years of sentence, minus two. Well, like this, these numbers are not exactly like co coordinating with what, how many years they're serving. It's just a mere example. And same for player two. If player two choose to not confess, they cooperated, but player one defected, then player one get four utility they walk free player two serve two years in prison minus two for utility and if they both didn't confess they both co cooperated then they have three for the utilities for both of them so they both walk free and for a game of chicken it's a situation that for example you have two cars running straightly towards each other and you can choose either to go straight or you can swerve. If you go both go straight, then you clash into each other. You suffer severe damages, you get minus two for utility. And this is not relative to the scale of the prison's dilemma. There are examples. And if you can choose to swerve, and if you swerve and that person goes straight, you are the chicken. So you get minus one for your utility because of shame. And you, if you go and the person who goes straight gets a sense of pride, I guess, and they get a four for utility. If you both swerve, then you both get nothing, so you get zero for utility. These numbers can are very subject to change, and I will show a generalization of these two situations, so you can see that these numbers are very. They don't necessarily have to be what they are right now. So if we see. Analyze the Nash equilibrium for both of them. This one it will be minus one, four, minus one, and four. So the Nash equilibrium for this situation will be defect, defect. The Nash equilibrium for the pure strategy game will be defect. And if we see the game of chicken, you would be choosing go straight and serve and go straight and serve and so the pure strategy Nash equilibrium would be S go straight and go straight S. this is how these two different games are very different from each other they get very different outcomes because for prisons dilemma your utility is the lowest if you choose to cooperate, but the other person defected. Whereas for the game of chicken, your utility will be lowest if you both go straight. So if you both defected, you don't, both don't cooperate. Here is a generalization. So there's two versions of generalization I summarized. First of all is, for this one, if you consider um the punishment for being not cooperative punishment for being cooperative while the other person betrayed you would be zero then if this number is smaller than zero if effect 
bottle for you, defecting is actually doing you more damage compared to only one person defected, or compared to when you cooperate and another person defected, then it's a game of chicken. If this number is bigger than zero, so if you are cooperated and the other person didn't, it's doing you more damage. You have a lower utility in that case, then it's a prisoner's dilemma. Or here, you can see it just purely ordinal. If your utilities, your payoffs rank from D, B, which is when you defect the other person cooperate, and then D, if you both cooperate, and then C, you got betrayed, and A, you both don't cooperate. A, so if you don't both don't cooperate, it's the lowest utility you get, the lowest payoff you have, then it will be game of chicken. If your lowest um, payoff would be when the other person betray you, then it will be a prisoner's death.